found some squash bugs that I want to show you. This is my spaghetti squash. And like I said, they lay eggs on the back of the leaves. And I don't know if you can see those, but there's some eggs right there at the base of the leaf. So what I'm going to do is cut those off. Usually I fold the leaf over and squish them with my fingers, but I don't want to miss any eggs. So my new project is I am going to put them in a baggie and throw them in my garbage can in my dumpster and they'll get hauled away and not able to get out of the baggie and torment anybody else. And I brought out my bug jar. If I catch any earwigs, I'm going to see if the chickens really will eat them. I've read that they will, but I'm interested to see if they'll eat them. This, by the way, is my very favorite garden cart that my husband bought me. Got it at Costco a few years ago. And I've had a couple of knee surgeries, and so I needed something to sit on while I was working out my garden. I can't get on my knees. And so um, I can sit on this seat. And inside I have, let me lift this lid up, and inside I have my water bottle and some other garden tools I use quite frequently. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get the eggs off of the back of the leaf. And then if I find a squash bug, I'll take a picture of it. But usually you can just Google it and you'll see what they look like. And I did find a squash bug. So I wanted to show you what they look like. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there. And so I'm going to put it in a cup and smash it. Anyway, that's what they look like. Bye. Hi, I've got the squash bug in here. It's in a cup. And I'm going to take and squash it. <laughs> squash it. I did find some squash eggs, so I want to show you what they look like. Um, I have been putting diatomaceous earth on my plants, and I found some on the back of this leaf. I don't know if you can see them. Um, a little bit hard to see. But anyway, that's where they are. They're down in the area where the leaf connects to the stem. And that's the worst place for them. I found some more and I cut them off the the leaf, part of the leaf off of the stem and I put them in this baggie. And I don't know if you can see through the baggie at the eggs I have found there. But I am going to put this in the garbage can out front. I don't want any of them um, hatching in my garden. And I thought maybe my method of folding the leaf over and squishing the eggs, maybe I'm missing some. And that might be another reason why we're getting so many squash bugs, um, is how I'm doing it. But one way to tell if you need to, this is to watering, uh, concerning watering, when to get ready to water, how to tell if your plants need it, is I took a garden spade and I poked down in the dirt here, and it's dry. This is dry down in here. And so if I can go down a, an inch or two, and there, it's not moist, that means that I, my plants need to water, need watering. So what I'm going to do is um, water as soon as I check my, all of my squash plants for bugs and eggs. And um, then these plants will do better if they are on a good watering schedule. We are having very hot temperatures. Um, they're not over 100, but they get up around 93, 96 degrees, and so the plants will dry out quicker. And we've also had a wind last, we had wind last night, and that dried them up more than usual. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done today. I found some more squash eggs, and this time they were on top of the leaves rather than underneath. So <laughs> maybe our squash bugs are getting smarter and figuring out that I've covered the backs of the leaves with some DE, diatomaceous earth. But anyway, yeah, I found them on top. This plant is not doing very well. Um, it's starting to get some brown leaves, and I don't know what the problem is. Um, it's not tolerating the heat very well this year either. So I don't know if it's the place where I have it planted, or if it's the super hot weather we've been having. I don't know what the issue is, but it's been suffering a little. I've got one spaghetti squash, pretty good size, growing right now. Another one over here. And I don't know if you can see because of my shadow, but anyway, um, this thought was interesting that I'm finding the 
squash bag eggs on the tops of the leaves. So there's squash bug around here somewhere. I just haven't found it yet. I pulled these out of the baggie that I put them in and have them out so you maybe can see them better what the squash eggs look like. I found two more sets of them so I know I have squash bugs. I just did not find them today. Um, I checked all of my squash plants and could not find them. Anyway, so what I do is I cut these off of the leaf and then I put them in this baggie and then I put in my kitchen trash or the garbage can out front so that they're out of my garden. And like I said, this spaghetti squash is not doing too well. I hope that it will improve with whatever problem it has goes away. This is my butternut squash and it's doing really well. Um, I have not found any squash bugs on it, nor eggs. So hopefully we'll get some good fruit off of that one. Um, over here is my zucchini squash and it is doing really well. I'm just so excited. I've got two zucchini on this today that I can pick. And I have another plant here. Um, also doing really well, and the white stuff is a diatomaceous earth. Since I have found so many squash bugs and eggs, I am putting it on as a precaution because I want my squash this year. Last year they got all of my squash except for one. There's another zucchini. That's looking good. And these tall green pants are my cosmos that I transplanted. They were really tiny when I first planted them. Here is my Zinnias, they're looking really good too. And I have some parsley right there. And of course my cabbages. I have crookneck squash. Now I have found both bugs and eggs on the crookneck. I have a couple down there that I'm going to pick today. Here's a cucumber that I'm struggling with. I don't know what its problem is, but the leaves started getting this, I don't know if you can see that, splotchy yellow brown spots on it this is what happened to it last year and then it eventually died the plant died so I read that um, do not plant your cucumber plants right next to each other um, because they can transfer viruses and diseases to each other if they're in the same area so I separated my cucumber plants here's another um, crookneck squash and it's doing really well but as you come down here you will see I have the crookneck in between my cucumbers along with some flowers and I've got more weeds but they're always coming up anyway so this one has no yellow marks or brown marks on the leaves yet so I'm happy about that and I have another crookneck squash and I've got my purple basil that's doing really well and my green basil and here's my other cucumber and I've already picked two cucumbers off of this plant and it, it's looking really well no sign of the disease that the first one had um, anyway so that's what I found in the garden today